Morning people. Happy Friday. Look at that blue sky man. Oh, thank you. Last thing I see at night. First thing I see in the morning. Uh, so I had an amazing walk yesterday. Found a little treasure on the island. Got myself a canoe. Got a little hole in it. But that's gonna get gonna get some repair work done. We're gonna get in the water finally. Uh, I've been seeing it since I got here. One of the things I wanted to do was get on that ocean. Obviously, weather depending. It's wild when it's wild. It's so tranquil and peaceful when it's calm. It's one of them peaceful days today. Uh, it's a good hour, hour and a half walk to where I found the kayak, well, the canoe. So, um, like you say, that's going to be maybe next weekend. I'll get what I need this week. Um, Repair-wise, I'll head over there early one morning, spend a day across there fixing it, and then we'll... Uh, We'll have an adventure on the way on the open sea. But like you see, this is the path I was coming up yesterday. Went over to the south side yesterday. Uh, today we're heading to the top. Uncle Barry left at 10 o'clock. Uh, he said he used to be able to do this this walk in an hour, but. Although he's a fit man, he says he's not as fit as he used to be. I don't believe him. I think he's fitter than me. <laughs> uh, so I've given him a half an hour head start. It's given me a reason to power, power up. Try and catch up with him. Hopefully I'll do that before he gets to the top. Um, there's apparently a, a lake on the top of the top of the, the summit. Uh, which is uh, something I'm looking forward to seeing, looking forward to sharing with you. Uh, hopefully we'll see some more deer today. I'm starting to see them every day. Um, a deer, a day. Keeps the madness away. <laughs> uh, but, this is where we are. Get this off. I like this one. I like this. I like this little there. Uh, I like this angle. Uh, so we're heading people up there. I think anyway. Looking back on yesterday's videos. See, the weather was amazing. It's a little bit cooler today. I feel the wind. Yesterday there was no wind at all. Nothing but glorious sunshine yesterday. Absolutely amazing. Um, I can see I'll get those videos uploaded over the weekend. Um, but we'll uh, hopefully be up there by, by lunchtime a little pack lunch, the standard flask of tea, never leave, the, never leave the cottage without it, those who know me, you know I love me tea, uh, no sugar today though, one other thing I'm cutting back on, as you see, the drugs are out my life, the drinks are out my life, still having the odd odd rolly but like you see that's cutting down as well just one of the things that I'm cutting on my life sugar's next to go um, done nearly 18,000 steps yesterday um, which is great but if I'm drinking 10 cups of tea that's 10 sugars Barry pointed out the other day that I was going through a bag of sugar a month since I got here it's a pound of sugar it's a lot of sugar um, Obviously, I'm not eating biscuits and crap like that. I'm not eating crisps anymore. I'm not eating cakes. 
only dessert to have is whatever Barry makes. He does a wicked crumble. Um, nothing better, to be fair. I've never really been a crumble fan, you know. Apple, rhubarb, gooseberry. Uh, you never know what it's going to be. It's always a nice surprise, though. Uh, can I see him up there? Nah, he's well ahead of us. Not as fit as he used to be. Liar! Um, <laughs> but, uh, let's get my feet wet. Probably told us that the first week I got up here, he said, if you're going to try and keep your feet dry, you're going to miss all the wonders that you can see looking down at your feet, trying to trying to avoid puddles, just, just get through them. There's only one level of wet. Once they're wet, they're wet. Shop, forget about it. So here's the windy road. The long and winding road to your heart. Uh, I need to start learning more than just one line of songs. <laughs> Now and then one just pops into my head. Seems fitting to the moment. The music finds you when you need it. So I'm gonna, uh, like you see I had my job interview yesterday at the Duna. Background check on me before I get off at, off at the job. Um, just hoping that. See the reason that I'm up here. Yes, mental health. Yes, my life fell apart. I'm slowly putting it back together. There's a, there's a cloud hanging over us, which is uh, my court case in June. All right, where are we going? We are going to Livingston's Walk, south side, today. So let's go. I was going to leave us a little marker on the road, he said, so I know where to turn off. Um, I think we need a new sign put up for the summit, it blew down. Um, but yeah, I'm just hoping that, like you see that dark cloud that's hanging over us, uh, doesn't spoil the opportunity. Um, I told them that I had a court date in June. I didn't say what for, but didn't ask, so I didn't tell them. Um, obviously if it comes up on the, on the, uh, background check, then I, like you say, I'm happy to explain what's happened. Um, doing everything within my power to, to show that what did happen was a, a glitch in the matrix. It was a, a mistake that I made due to my circumstances. Um. I don't regret it because it's what's put us on the path that I'm on today. Um, and again, I hope that you know people can see that. Um, if it hadn't happened, no doubt I'd still be down there doing the same shit that I that I was doing. That got us into the, the mess I was in. Um, and again, that's one of the lessons that I hope people see that I've learned and. You know, if they can take some, some, some guidance from that, you know, when bad things happen, it's because there's a lesson there that you need to learn. I wasn't learning the lesson, but I certainly am now. Lesson received, lesson learned, lesson understood. Um, I do believe that it's going to go my way. Like you see, I manifested everything up to now. Um, that's what I'm doing now. I'm saying it out loud. I'm speaking out loud. I'm saying, I'm sorry. I'm sorry for what I've done. But I'm thankful for what happened. Because like you see, it's, it's changed my life. Stephen Coyle, shout out to you, my friend. That I knew from 
in my teens. He's not hiding behind anything either. You know, he speaks the truth. He tells how it was back then, but that's not how it is now. It's inspiring, absolutely inspiring. The guy's working with horses now. Like you see, you never would have thought that Coyley of West Denton, now of, of Sheffield, would be working with therapy horses. Um, it's an amazing story. Like you see, if you, if you know Stephen from his old days, I'll be honest, when the friend request came through, I was reluctant to accept it because I was thinking, I know that's Stephen Coyle and I'm trying to cut people out of my life. That would be a negative impact. Um, but I didn't, I accepted the friend request. But as soon as I did, and I seen what he's been doing, I was like, holy shit. That guy's done what I'm doing, he's turned his life around. You know, so congratulations to you, my friend. Um, like you say, nobody's a bad person. I think people just get caught up in bad situations. Um, it's staying in those bad situations, that's what makes you a bad person. As soon as you break away from the badness, from the negativity, everybody's good at heart. Everybody's got a you know, a light, and a light inside of them that wants to shine. So you see, it's the circumstances and the people that you surround yourself by. That's what stops you from shining. So, like you say, bear that in mind. That's some of my words of wisdom for the day. Um, Jesus Christ, I am power marching up here. I definitely should have been in the army or the Marines or something. Oh, only 12 minutes, two seconds.